here's a quick look at our tower cam of Lee Canyon. As you can see, all the green trees and beautiful blue skies. Well, if you look up right, <laughs> it's a great view. Well, it looks like a wonderful fall day up at Mount Charleston right now. That could change very soon. 8 News Now reporter Mary Jane Bellyessa shares how Lee Canyon is preparing for the winter ski and snowboard season. It's been two months since a tropical storm hit Mount Charleston, causing Lee Canyon to close early during the summer season. Marketing director Jim Seeley says crews have been hard at work cleaning up and making repairs. In the very beginning, there was a lot of debris removal. Um, you know, we had a lot of specialized equipment up here, uh, uh, heavy machinery just hauling uh, a lot of debris that came into uh, near the chairlifts, uh, as well as erosion. General Manager Dan Hooper says now they're back to their regular routine of seasonal preparation, which includes filling 150 jobs. Anything from ski and snowboard instructors uh, through uh, food and beverage staff, guest service staff, so a whole different range of things. Uh, not just for people that ski and snowboard. Uh, we're sort of very relaxed environment, very different than working down in the valleys. Hooper says outdoor recreation has increased in Nevada, and Lee Canyon is keeping up with the growth. A new quad chairlift, uh, a new conveyor lift, both which are going to access some amazing new beginner ski terrain, as well as that also uh, the construction of a new 500 car parking lot. Staff say Lee Canyon is on track to open in time for the winter season with the hope of more cooler temperatures and more snow. We do want to stay below freezing, say six hours or so before we really start making snow. So we're watching those temperatures. We're watching the forecast, what comes in. Uh, getting ready, getting all that equipment ready. Depending on weather conditions, Seeley says Lee Canyon may open in late November or early December. Reporting from Mount Charleston, Mary Jean Bolleza, 8 News Now. So although road repairs have been completed on Lee Canyon Road, which by the way is also known as State Route 156, the road does remain closed in order to clear debris.